Hi, I am Siddha and in this video, I will uh, explain about uh, producing tree map charts in R. Tree map charts are uh, a class of hierarchical charts that are used to visualize data by categories. It can be taken as an alternative to pie charts. But one of the advantages uh, of using tree map chart is that more categories can be presented in a tree map chart with clarity. So in this chart, the, the values of the categories are represented by rectangles and the larger rectangles uh, correspond to the larger values in the categories. So to produce a tree map chart, I have taken here an example from the COVID cases across the countries. Uh, I have downloaded the data of COVID cases by country as of November 23rd, 2020. And here is the data in Excel. So USA has uh, uh, more than 12 million COVID cases. India has uh, 9 million and Brazil 6 million. So this data has country, name of countries, COVID cases, and the continent in which the country lies. So let me, let me first say the working directory. I have saved the data in my desktop inside October 31st folder. So my working directory is October 31st. So I saved the working directory. Then I import the data. Since my data is in Excel format, I use the read XL library. So I invoke the library read XL and I import the data from my working directory. So if I look into the heads of the data, it shows the first few observations. So uh, four columns, uh, serial number, continent, country, and cases. So now, since there are more than 200 countries, so if you, if you look the data dimension, there are 240 observations. So all these 214 observations may not be clearly visualized in a tree map. So first I select the first 61 countries only. So if I look at the data, the first 61 countries, the first 61 countries has a COVID cases more than 100,000. So I first select the countries which has more than 100,000 COVID cases. So, so the, the data one uh, is given by data uh, one to 61 row, the first 61 observation. So if I run this, the data one object has a data frame, which has only 61 observations. So now I go to plotting the tree map for that. I here use the tree map library and then to plot a tree map, we simply need the data set, the index variable, the categorical variable, and the uh, size of the rectangle is determined by the numerical value of the variable. In our case, it is the COVID cases, number of COVID cases. So this variable must be numeric and the size of the rectangle depends on the size of the number associated with the categories. So we give a title to the tree map, country-wise COVID-90 cases and type index. So if I run this, it will produce, it will produce a tree map, basic tree map. So if I run this, it produces a tree map of 61 countries. So looking at this tree map, what we can say is that USA has the largest number of COVID-19 cases followed by India, Brazil, France, Russia, and Spain. So now in the next case, uh, suppose that we, we want to plot the 
levels the levels the, the the number of COVID cases and name of country in the tree map uh, for that we do a trick here in the data one data set we define a new variable called new lab the new lab variable is simply is simply given by country name and country cases separated by this divider sign so if I run this, a new variable is created. The new variable can be seen in the data one. So the new the new variable new lab has country name as well as the number of cases. So by taking this new variable, I can again plot the tree map chart in which both country and cases will be visualized as labels. So all other things are same the only difference from the above example is the name of the category or name of the index which was country and now it is the new variable we created just now so if i run this command the tree map chart is produced the tree map chart is produced but at this time at this time with the name of the country along with the number of COVID cases so in this way we, we, we can plot a we can plot a basic tree map chart and keep labels uh, both country and country cases by simply defining a new label variable uh, in the data set so now next we want to visualize the COVID cases by continent. So for that, uh, the simple case would be replacing the index as continent. So if we run this, other, all other things are same, other options are same. The only change I have made here is the index one. Uh, I have put continent in the place of country in the place of new lab so if i run this so our tree map chart now shows the covid cases by continent america uh, america continent has the largest number of cases followed by europe followed by asia and then africa so uh, again uh, we we would want to we may want to see the numbers uh, the numbers as labels uh, in addition to the name of the continent for that uh, we again do a simple trick we invoke the deployer package and then we group the continent and we generate a variable uh, just by summing the cases of COVID-19 in that continent so what we do here is we use all the 240 uh, economies 240 countries so we use the first data which is called data only not data one so data first data then then group by continent so this this option groups the covid cases by continent and then we summarize summarize we summarize uh, the cases uh, just by totaling the number of cases across the continent so we define a variable c total which is simply given by the sum of cases within the continent so we first group cases by continent and then find the sum total of continents in case of each one and then we we create a new variable called a new lab one the new lab one simply this is given by the name of the continent and the continent total we defined in the previous line so in the previous line we defined the continent total for each continent as the sum of the cases within that continent so we define the variable new lab one as the combination of continent and continent total separated by the divider sign now we plot the tree map we plot the tree map our index is now new lab one which contains 
uh, which contains information about continent name and continent case total. So our our B size is now C total, C total, which is the subtotal of the cases in each continent. And we give a title, distribution of 90 cases, and we we put the color scheme as reds and font size of the title as 12. So if I run this command, what does what this command does is that this command first groups the data by continent and finds total cases for each continent and then define a variable called new lab one which has information about the name of the continent and the cases of the total COVID infections for each continent and then plots a tree map tree map in which our index variable is new lab one so in the plot we can see the name of the continent the name of the continent and total cases in that so the america has uh, 25 million cases followed by Europe with 16 million cases followed by Asia with 15 million cases. So next we want to, uh, we may want to plot the, the COVID cases with subgroups. For instance, we may plot uh, both information, uh, the country-wise COVID cases in Asia, Europe. So we are, we are plotting the information of both categorical variables. One is continent and another is country. So for doing that, uh, we may have to put the two variables, put the two variables uh, uh, in the index option. So now, all other options are same. The only difference here is that we have now two indices, continent and country. So if I run this command, this line, this line of chords, so this will produce a tree map in which, in which the COVID cases, in which the COVID cases are plotted according to two categories one by continent another by country now within america within america uh, the largest number of cases is in usa followed by brazil followed by argentina but within europe for europe the second second category europe uh, france has the largest number of cases followed by russia and for Asia, for Asia, the largest number of cases are in India, followed by other countries. So here we have two categories. One is continent and another is country. Now, now we may want to see the number of cases by countries in this chart, in this tree map chart. For that, we have just to, to change the name of the country by by the level that uh, we defined earlier the level was new lab new lab so remember that this variable this variable new lab has information about the name of the country and country cases separated by a dividing sign so if i run if i run this line of course if i run this line of course it will produce the same chart with the number of cases Okay. Okay. Let me let me run it again so that the tree map chart is more clear. So it now shows the same chart, two categories, continents and countries, but with the levels, with the with the levels as the as the number of COVID cases in countries. So now you can you, you can play with the title, you can play with the color scheme, you can play with the font sizes and other options. Uh, you can change the the 
position of the labels for instance uh, you may you may put the prints on the uh, bottom you may put prints on the top so you may change the color scheme you may change the border color for instance if i change this to black the border the border color will change to black so let me run this let me let me run this so this will change the border color sorry so let me run this now the border color should be black and uh, you can you can you can change other options so thank you for watching this video i have put the r script the r codes and the excel file in the description of this video so that you can try producing this chart in your own computer your own art thank you very much